Okay guys, the next thing I'm going to do is install a theme onto my new blog. Okay, because it comes with the um, boring old WordPress one. So I'm going to right click on here and open in a new tab. And it's right over here. So this is my new um, website and it says oh, there's no posts found which we already know that because we deleted the first one. Um, so this is the first, this is the website. So I don't want to um, keep this. I want to change it. So I'm going to do that now. The other thing is that I should do is delete that sample page there, which I will. Okay, so we're going to go back into the dashboard. Now, what you can do is go to appearance, just here and we are going to go to the theme section which we're on now and we can go to install themes okay so if you've got a theme on your computer you can press on upload theme now if you need a free theme you can go and search for something here so let's just say you want something with um, let's say what do we got here you can choose um, all sorts of things let's go three columns just choose that and then we'll just press on find themes okay now it comes up with three column themes now I personally don't use um, free WordPress um, themes because there's no support with them but if you haven't got a premium theme yet and you're just starting out then this is a great way to do it so just say I pressed on this one here we're gonna go let's preview it we'll press preview and there it is there and it's a nice theme and I remember starting out with this theme a few years ago so yeah it's pretty good so that looks pretty good so I'm going to close the preview and I'm going to press install okay and it just you just press on install now right so um, we can preview it or activate it. Let's activate it because we're not going to damage anything because we have a brand new installation here. Okay, so it says here's the author here from Daily Blog Tips. Um, it's a pretty popular website. Everyone knows about it. So here it is. Um, it's a great theme. Like I said, I used it years ago um, and it's pretty good. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So if I go to my website again, now here it is, and I'm just going to press on um, this to refresh it. Okay, so here it is. Here is the first part of the website. And because it's a free theme, it's got a link to the daily blog tips themes there. Okay, now it's not nice to take the um, links away either because people have worked really hard on these themes all right so that's your free option if you want so just say I go back to install themes and now I'm going to upload a theme from my computer I'm going to press on browse and I'm going to go to um, I've just got to browse around a bit because I've got a lot of files in here. Um, just say, I'm not sure how many of the elegant themes I've got there. They're so easy to install. I've got in review. That's not exactly what I want. Um, I've got Socrates. I've got thesis. I'm not going to do thesis. Um, Oh, I've got lots in here. This is terrible. I'm a bit of a... Uh, I've got a problem with themes. Um, I like buying them, so... Alright, um, another thing that I'm going to do is go and find the rest of the elegant themes that I've got because I just want to probably install one of those. Okay, so we'll just go and find it. 
Okay, so let's install a theme from my computer. So we've pressed on Upload and now we're going to press on Browse. And these are elegant themes. So I'm going to, um, what you need to do is unzip them and go into the folder. So I've unzipped one here and I'm going in. Okay, and I'm going into the theme folder and what it's got here is it had this here and I've got 7-zip installed on my computer so what I did is go to the 7-zip menu and say add to studioblue.zip so I zipped it up again so I could use it so let's install it now so you need to use the zipped file and press open and press install now Now this is a elegant theme WordPress theme so I'm just going to press activate and um, the reason I do use these themes is because I have support and um, I can go and ask any questions I like if I have a problem. So we've got that and um, now we go and have a look at it I guess so we'll go back to the website and we'll refresh it again and see what happens. Here we go. Now we've got um, Studio Blue it's called. Now what we need to do is go and add a few things. Okay so this is what it looks like here so what we need to do is enable the categories up on the menu and stuff like that. So and basically we need to add a couple of posts because um, as you can see it shows a few posts on the page so I did edit it and I added in a couple of posts and I haven't changed the logo yet but I will so what it's got here is it's got um, categories showing up here and it's got the home page over here and it's taking the resizing the thumbnails for me okay um, and there's two posts that I've put in there and then they have summaries underneath of the recent posts and also they show you um, recent post lists with um, with the thumbnails as well so it's going to be pretty uh, nice theme once I've um, added some things in the sidebar and stuff like that so basically this um, probably take me an hour to really do everything that I want with it and um, you're looking at a professional theme just put up just like that um, I mean there's nothing wrong with this website whatsoever for a business website or anything like that now this this is how easy it is and um, you can make money building websites for other people or you can uh, make money online yourself by selling advertising and putting AdSense in and stuff like that.